Great Joy continues on its path to PL slash EF, full frame anamorphics. Today, we're looking at what could be my favorite lens in their lineup, the 85mm T2.9 with 1.8 times squeeze. 85mm is my favorite focal length, so the stakes are high. Let's go. The 85 mil gives me the best results in terms of anamorphic character and handling. It's long enough to have great bokeh, but not too long to feel too heavy to handle or show too much rolling shutter. Great Joy's latest lens delivers just that. Full frame coverage and constant 1.8 times squeeze throughout the focus range. We're talking about a hefty nugget of metal and glass here. The lens weighs 1200 grams or two and a half pounds. And again, we have a quarter inch hole on the underside to attach lens support. The 85 mil is slightly longer than the other two in the set, but in spite of the different size, Great Joy has done a proper job and kept the focus in iris rings matching their other lenses. The rings are also geared for motors, which is almost granted at this point. The version I got has a PL mount, which I absolutely love, and comes with a replacement EF mount plus all the pieces needed to make the swap, including shims for adjusting back focus. The lens will also be available in the same mounts as the rest of the set. That means L, E, RF, and Micro Four Thirds. The front threads are 82 millimeters and the outer diameter is 85 mil for clamp-on matte boxes. Maximum aperture is T2.9, which is not too bad as we lean towards telephoto focal lengths. And the minimum focus is 70 centimeters or just under two foot four. And this is incredible close focus. We have focus scales in both metric and imperial and a properly long focus throw of around 240 degrees. This is great because it gives you accurate control of your focus distance, allowing for comfortable adjustments with even small changes in focus distance. The lens hits the market through another crowdfunding campaign for $1,450, and that is a 15% discount over final retail price of $1,700. These numbers are for the PL slash EF version, and the other ones are slightly cheaper, so make sure to check the campaign page for their prices. When it comes to performance, we get the same we've grown used to in modern anamorphics. Sharpness corner to corner, even when wide open. To ensure my subjects are in focus, I've stopped the lens to T4 in some of my test shots. Considering what we saw in the 35mm that had absolutely no distortion, I was actually surprised to see that the 85mm features a little bit of pincushion distortion, but not to a point where you would see it unless you're panning over a bunch of straight lines. And it can easily be fixed in post. The flares are a bit more noticeable this time, especially compared to the 35mm. You actually get subtle deep blue streaks, which I find very classy. Due to their creative use of cylindrical elements, you also get some vertical streaks, but those are much subtler than the horizontal streak. 
I don't dislike them. It gives the lens a bit more personality. We have an interesting convex rear element, which means the 1.8 times squeeze is being achieved through a combination of different cylinder orientations. If you want classic front anamorphics, then you might have a gripe here, but I am a big fan of the look I'm getting out of this lens. I'd add a mesh filter of some sort on top of it for a little more personality, but this doesn't feel as plain as the 35mm did. Overall, I wish Greyjoy would take note of all the things they did for this 85mm, which is by far the shining star of the set, and apply those changes to the 35 and 50mm, so we'd get some more character and a little bit of flair on the 35, and constant squeeze on the 50 mil. That would probably make my top pick set among the available budget options in the market right now. What are your thoughts on this new release, its focal length and how much character it displays? I'd love to see your opinion in the comments below. Also, this end of year is crazy, so stay tuned for many more episodes about new gear here on the channel. Thank you so much for hanging out, and I'll see you next time. Chit the out.